Hello everyone and welcome to my blog. My name is Nir. Today I'm traveling in Belgrade and I'm going to discover Belgrade rivers. I'm going to start at the Danube River and then to the Sava River. Hopefully we're going to see some swans today. Maybe we'll have some coffee. Stay with me. Now it's about 20 minutes walk from where I stay to the river. So we're gonna cross some streets. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy the views of the city. Now here's a small tip from me to you. If you are lost in the city of Belgrade, you don't know where you are, the easiest way to navigate to the center is just go up. You see a slope and you just need to climb up. The city center is actually on a hill. So the Republic Square, Knez Mikhailova and Kala Megdan, all those places, which by the way, I have a video on them. Uh, so you can open uh, Google Maps, it's the easiest way, but uh, if you run out of battery, just climb up. We are almost there. We just need to cross that bridge. Beautiful metal bridge. State of the art architecture. Okay, you ready for this? Ta da! How much I love this place. You can already see the swans. One of them is a bully. You can see. Don't take my food. You can see people are coming, feeding the swans. There are also a few other birds here. So relaxing, peaceful. And it's a beautiful day today. I can stay here for hours. Now this is actually the Danube River. Over there you can see Zemon, which was an Austrian colony. It wasn't a part of the original Serbian Belgrade. The river was actually the border between the Ottoman Empire for many years and the Austro-Hungarian Empire. So and this side of Belgrade, the Ottomans ruled, and the other side of the river, the Austro-Hungarians were settling. So Zeman is a totally different city. Its, its architecture is totally different than Belgrade, more European. So you should give it a try. As you can see, there are lots of swans here. We are now very close to the meeting point between the Danube River, which is this one, and the Sava River just behind me. A lot of people are cycling here, as you can see. Oh my god. Apparently this man brought a lot of food to the pigeons and the swans and they're gathered around him. Wow, it's amazing.
and he's just walking with his, with his wife. They're after him. Wow. The swans are coming. You see in the horizon? They are coming. And you can see this here almost every day. Yalla, let's go. עם החיוך שלך שווה מיליון או דולר, רוח בנמל הומה, עד לראש התורן, לצליל מיתר שמתנגן אני חושב עלייך, ונרקוד לאט את מחול הנשמות. We're starting to see some nice coffee places. And those are actually restaurants. There are many of them here. If you want to have a romantic dinner on the river, and this is the place. And we are now entering the Sava River. Bye bye, Danube. Look at those nice restaurants. This one is probably closed. Oh, Vaizmir. When the weather is good, those restaurants are really crowded. But in the winter, you see the shore, the other side of the river. You remember we are now in the Sava River. This is actually an island. And there is nothing in this island, it's in the middle of the city. And the reason is that in one side of the river you had Zemon and the Austro-Hungarians and in the other side you got the Ottomans and they were keep fighting each other for a long time. So we are now entering to a very big and green park. And you can actually see Kala Megdan from here. It's right on the hill behind me. And this park is actually part of Kala Megdan. And if you haven't seen my video about Kala Megdan yet, then you should. So we are approaching the more fancy part of the river. Uh, to the right of us, you can see those very strange boats on the other side of the river. These are actually nightclubs. So during the summer, they are packed with people who want to party. And Belgrade has an amazing nightlife. Right now, they are not active because it's winter. And in this side, you have a lot of restaurants and coffee shops. Maybe I'll have a cup of coffee. No, these places are more fancy and more expensive than usual. And I'm wearing my dry fit and uh, shorts. But I don't care. Oh, let's have a seat in this one. Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Thank you. It's a good coffee. Because I was sitting for a while, then I'm a bit cold. It's about 10 degrees outside and I'm wearing 
shorts and uh, t-shirt. Yeah, but this is me. Don't try this at home. And you can start seeing the city center from here. Look. Look at those fishermen. Did you caught something? Did you caught the fish? Yes. Yes? Can I see? Yes, did you did you caught a fish today? Yeah? Fish. Yeah, he didn't understand the word. Apparently no fish today, not yet. I think I'm gonna cut through those stairs to the center. And remember my tip from the beginning. If you wanna reach to the city center, you need to go up. If you see a slope, just go up. In my case, I can see some stairs. Oh, Vaisemir. Too much stairs. Okay, I made it. It wasn't so bad. So we are now in St. Michael's Church. Kala Megdan is right behind me. I'm going home. All right, guys, thank you for joining me to my trip in Belgrade Rivers today. If you have any questions about the city, please feel free to contact me or to leave a comment below. You can also find me at Instagram and Facebook. And if you want to know more information about the city, check out my website and check out my other videos about Belgrade. Until then, ciao!